Making the paradigm of the study is just easy. How? Okay, I will share to you some helpful tips. Hey there loves! Welcome back to my channel. If you've just happened to this video, welcome. I am Jean Castillo de Jesus, a public school teacher handling English and research subjects and I will be your online research bestie. If you are interested to learn more about these topics, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my uploads. In our previous videos, I discussed the paradigm models, specifically the IVDV model or the independent variable dependent variable model, as well as the PC model or the predictor criterion variable model. In this video, I will discuss another paradigm model which is utilized in research writing, and that is the IPO or the input process output model. In our school, we advise our student researchers to utilize this paradigm model or research paradigm in purely descriptive quantitative. In other institutions, they may have a different prescription, but that is all right. Like what I always tell you, the research parts or the format that you should follow in crafting a research is dependent on the institution that you are enrolled in. So in our school, in our context, we utilize IPO or the input process output model in quantitative researches, specifically the descriptive quantitative or the purely descriptive quantitative research. The sample of the IPO model that I am going to discuss to you is from the research output of my student researchers. Of course, before I utilize them in this video, I ask the group leader first and she willingly agreed. During the school-based research festival last April, they clinched the third place for the best paper and the second place for the poster presentation. Without much ado, let's get the ball rolling. First, let us have the research title, and that is Conflict Management Styles of Senior High School Students in Allen National High School. So, as you can observe in the title, the core concern is the conflict management styles, and the respondents are the senior high school students. Of course, the setting of the study or the local or the research site is in Allen National High School. This is an example of a descriptive research. So the research questions are as follows. First, what is the profile of the senior high school students in terms of 1.1 sex, 1.2 strand, 1.3 family structure, 1.4 number of household members, and 1.5 religion. So these are variables were chosen by the researchers because they assumed that these sub-variables have an impact or could affect the conflict management styles of the senior high school students. Research question number two. What are the conflict management styles of senior high school students based on 2.1 avoidance, 2.2 competition, 2.3 collaboration, 2.4 harmonization, and 2.5 compromise? And lastly, what are the determinants that contribute to the conflict management styles of senior high school students? Now that we have already laid down the research questions, we will start making the paradigm of the study. Just like in my recent video, I discussed to you that the research questions should complement or run parallel with the paradigm of the study. Before we start making the paradigm model, hopefully you are already learning and you have already subscribed to my channel. So here it goes. In the first figure, you have to label it as input. And then in the second one, process. And the third one, output. So what are you going to write in the figure for input? You have to list down here the variables reflected in the research questions. 
starting with the profile of senior high school students. So you will now enumerate one, sex, two, strand, three, family structure, four, number of household members, and five, religion. Moving to the second research question, that is the conflict management styles of senior high school students. And you have to list down the sub-variables, starting with avoidance, competition, collaboration, harmonization, and compromise. And of course, you also need to include the last variable, which are the determinants that contribute to the conflict management styles of senior high school students. Pressing ahead to the process. All you need to type in the figure is analysis of data through survey questionnaire and statistical treatment. And finally, for the output, you will write profile, conflict management styles, and determinants that contribute to the conflict management styles of senior high school students are determined. And do not forget to include the arrows from input to process and from process to output. Okay, we are already done with your IPO paradigm model. That's it. Easy peasy, right? That ends today's lesson. If I was able to help you make your paradigm of the study, specifically the IPO model, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell to keep you posted of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and please do love research. Bye!